What is going on guys, I'm AT and today we are back with some more online sim matches. The sim has actually just updated so we can now play ST10 in Western. So we're going to run some OP 4.5 with red purple lore. Decklist is at the end of the video as usual. So first up we're running into a mirror. This is going to be fun. Let's see how we go. Uh, we'll keep this hand. It's kind of decent. We got, At least we got the Sachi Penguin. We do have Ainz and Zoro which is good. So we both pass our first turn. We're going to swing five at their leader. Throw out Zoro. And we'll swing another five. They counter out of that one and end our turn. They attack our Zoro for five. You know what? I'm going to save it. If he tries to get rid of it, he's going to have to minus some Don early, which is good for us. He plays a Brook. Okay. Oh wow, he's minusing Don to get rid of nothing. Brings out Sachi Penguin. Okay, we'll Jet Pistol the Brook. And we'll swing 5 at leader. So at least now we have the Don advantage, which is good. We'll swing another 5 with Zoro. And they take it. End our turn. They play Film Law minus our Zoro by 2k. Oh, leader effect. Bottom decking our Zoro to bring out a Beppo. Okay. Swinging at us for 5, we'll take it. Gonna go again. Yep, 6 with Sachi Penguin, we'll take it as well. Rad Beam, don't need the trigger. They end their turn, we draw Uta. So we're at 7 Don. We can do quite a few things right now, actually. Uh. Seven Don, what am I gonna do? We'll go eight. Now we'll go seven into Saji Penguin. See if we can at least take that out. That is gone. Alright, we'll play our law minus the Beppo, because I don't want him ramping since we have way more Don. We'll lead our effect and we'll bring out Zoro or Iron. I think Iron. Iron's better. We'll ramp a little bit. And end our turn there. So we're sitting at 5 Don each, basically. So they're gonna Gordon. They're getting rid of our Law, looks like it. They swing 8k at our leader. We're gonna Rad Beam that, easy. Nice. They're gonna obviously leader effect our Law and bring out... A Jinbei. Okay. And they didn't attack with law. That's an interesting choice. Um, we can probably clear the board pretty easily right now. It's just what do I want to get rid of more? The Jinbei or the law? Guess we'll attack with irons for five. Give a little poke first. And then I guess we'll go eight at lead. Four Don left. I can either block her or and just bottom deck the Jinbei, bring out a Zoro and swing again. Probably the better choice since Jinbei can minus us. I'm not too scared about the law. Oh, and they just left. <laughs> Alright, well, first game was quick. Let's go find our next match. Alright, so we're jumping into our second match. Looks like we found ourselves another mirror match. Hopefully, they stick around for a full game. It's always going to be good to practice the mirror match, honestly. I want to see what other people are running for their build. I'm quite enjoying the film one as of right now, but we can still tweak it quite a bit. So, let's go. We mulligan and pass our first turn. It's not the best hand, but we can work with it. Let's see how we go. Got to practice as many scenarios, you know. So they pass their turn. Um, I guess I'm just gonna swing eight at their leader. Try to see if I can get more cards into the hand as usual. That is the game plan. I want to drop that block of law. And they take the hit. Cool. We'll end our turn there. They swing at us for five. We'll take it. Actually, no. They might drop their own lore. They're at 4 Don. We'll counter out with an Uta. So they're trying to do the same thing we're doing to them. But it looks like we're going to be able to at least block a lore and take two cards out of their hand. Swing with Zoro, we can take that one because they cannot play the lore. 
Unless they want to lose all their Don in the end of their turn. We'll Law first. And then we'll swing 6 at Zoro. Awesome. End our turn there. They Gordon. So minus 3k on our blocker Law. Attacking us for 6k. Uh, we'll take it. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> they got us back. Alright. And then they leader effect. Get rid of, getting rid of our law to play out a brook. So I did like brook, but I feel like it's hard to make him stick. So I don't actually run him in this list at the moment. But I might give him another shot again. We'll see what happens. Okay, so they're only at two Don. We're, we're looking really good right now. Uh, he's, he's burning himself out real, real early. I think what we're going to do here is play Queen. And get rid of a round table. Because I, I really don't think I'm going to need that round table. Oh, Iron. Maybe we'll get rid of Iron. Actually, we'll get rid of Iron. Could use the round table, never know. And we'll Otama the Brook. We'll use leader effect on that. Get rid of, getting rid of Brook and playing out Sachi Penguin. And we'll swing at their leader for five. They take it. We'll end our turn. Let's see what they do here. So we're both at four Don. Obviously, we leader effects again. Then we're gonna be ahead. That's pretty much the main thing I reckon in the, the mirror. Whoever has the most Don or uses their effect too much is the one that's going to really lose. Taking a bit of time to think. Okay, so he jet pistols our queen and goes five at leader. I want to take this one. I kind of want to keep the Uda. Do I want to use a 2k? Yeah, might as well. I don't think I need to search anything film right now. We're looking good. Alright, 6 Don, let's see, we will go, I'll probably poke him, so we'll go 5 with Sachi Penguin, see if he blocks, counters, or takes the life, he takes the life, okay, uh, let's just go 7, should we go 7, no, we'll go another 5, we'll go another 5, and then I guess I'll play out Uta, so he has to get rid of Uta, or if he attacks, then I can rest his law. So Uta, and we'll just pass there. So he plays Otama, minusing our Uta blocker by 2k. So he's definitely going to try and shambles. He's going to have to use some Don first, unless he uses his active Don. Which would be a waste. Oh, he's attacking with his blocker. Whoa, I guess... That's kind of a mistake. I'm going to just block with Uta. I mean, he's going to get rid of it anyways, right? So we'll block that and we'll let it go. So he attacks our Sachi for five. We're going to save him. We're going to save him. Let's get rid of Beppo. Let's see what he does next. Ooh, round tables our Saji Penguin. Then uses leader effect. So he's gonna bottom deck our penguin and brings out a Khalifa. Interesting. I kinda thought about running that before, but just never really found a good time to use her. So our hand is kind of awkward. We have two round tables and a Saji Penguin. He's got two cards in hand and he's down to only three Don. So we're ahead by a lot of Don right now. I think we're going to just save it. Because if we can go for lethal in the next couple turns, then it'll be good. So let's let's just go 5 with Otama into his blocker. Because, I mean, he can't end the game next turn. He swings with Khalifa. He swings with his leader. If he has a rush, Zoro. But he's only got 5 Don next turn. So I think we'll be good. As long as we can protect ourselves from one hit. And I'm sure there's counters in life. So let's see what he does here. He lets it go. Okay, and you know what? Let's just go 7 at lead. And we'll bluff like 1 for a red beam. 
And he takes it, we'll end our turn. He plays a buggy. And he whiffs. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Buggy is like the biggest whiff king in the game so far. He attacks our Tama with his one. Alright, we'll let it go. Now is he gonna attack with Khalifa? Or his leader? Pretty sure he'll attack with Khalifa, right? To at least draw some cards. But I mean, there's not much he can do unless he has a blocker. So he draws two, and then he's got to trash one round table. We'll take that one. Wonder if he has a blocker. Because he could. Yeah, okay, swinging with two. So he's got three Don Yu's. He's gonna shambles out a blocker. He does. He's got the blocker. And we pulled a Gordon. Well, we could have won that regardless because we had round table and so much Don. So minus three on his blocker with minus three bottom deck it. And just play out the Beppo, I guess. And then swing with seven Don on our leader. There you go. We got that game. Oh, 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 he was really close. He was really close. Let's see if he rematches. Awesome, he didn't leave, so we're rematching. Gonna mulligan our first hand. Not too bad. I am kind of on the fence about this vanilla Luffy. I kind of put him in before because of like, you know, Whitebeard matchups, but now that Whitebeard's gonna be banned, I might not need him. So he plays Buggy, whiffs again, passes to us, um, and we'll just pass our turn. Yeah, buggy. Like I said, whiff king. I don't think it's worth running him. He's got no counter either in this deck, so... Kind of curious what his build is. So he swings at us for 8. We'll take it. And he does leader effect straight away for Sachi Penguin. Okay. Not a bad play. We have 4 Don. I'll go 5 at leader. And I think I might just play out the vanilla Luffy. See what happens. Because... He's going to have to spend quite a bit to get rid of it. And we'll pass. And I want to save my Don. I don't think there's a need for me to get rid of the buggy. Plus it's also Slash. So I can't attack into it. I'd have to leader effect. So I'd rather save my Don for a bit later. So he plays Gordon. Minus 3k on our vanilla 6k Luffy. Tax 5 with buggy. Uh, we'll take it. Goes 5 with Saji Penguin. We'll counter out with one of the Uters. We don't need 3 blockers. And he goes for 6. I don't want to use the Otama, but I want to stay at 2 life, so 2k. And he leader effects to bottom deck our Luffy to bring out a Beppo. So his board's looking good, but his Don is minimal. So I think we have a really good chance right now to just destroy things. Um, we saved enough Don, I reckon. So we'll play Law, minus 2 on Sachi. We'll attack for 5. He lets it go. We are gonna bottom deck his buggy and we'll bring out a Sachi Penguin since we're less than three Don to get two Don back. And I guess we'll just play a Gordon, leave it there as a little threat and end our turn. So now we have the good board and we also have more Don. He attacks us with Beppo for 5 to ram. Uh, we'll take it, we'll take it. We get ourselves a 2k. He attacks us for 5. Uh, we'll counter out of this one. Uh, Let's go Beppo. Kind of want to wall up next turn actually. We'll double blocker and we should be pretty safe. Because if he's using his Don now, which he is, he minus two on our law. Bottom deck the Gordon and plays out a Beppo. Okay, that's interesting. We'll go five into Beppo. He lets it go. Do I want to rush him? 
No, I think we'll stick with the double blocker turn because it's got three cards in hand and three on only, right? So we'll swing five with Sachi Penguin. And then I guess we have seven Dawn. So let's go two. We'll keep five for Queen. So we'll go seven at leader. We'll play Queen. Uh, draw two. Ooh, we got the Uta. Uta's probably better because we can rest something. His hand's not high enough. So I think we're going to get rid of the blocker law. Probably the better option. Then we'll use leader effect and bring out our Uta. Then we'll end our turn. So we've got two blockers he has to get rid of. And two attackers. So he's got a lot of choices to make with only five done. If we can keep the attackers at least alive and do some little shambles shenanigans to bring out a Zoro for cheap and whack a bunch of Donovan would be good too. Uh, we'll see what he does though. Can he get rid of these blockers? So he round tables the queen. Oh, that's going to be expensive now. He's, he's going to be down to nothing on his Don. So leader effect to bottom deck our queen. Brings out another Beppo. Gonna go for face or board. So it goes five at Sachi. I'll block. I'll use leader effect and rest his other Beppo. So he can't attack or ram. And 2k to save her. And then he's gonna attack Uta with 2k to save her. And he ends his turn. Uh, let's go five into his board. See if we can burn some cards out of his hand. We'll go 5 again into the law. And then we'll swing 5 with lead into law. So his hand is going down. Let's see if we can save it. Okay, then we'll play our own law and minus the Beppo. And then we'll leader effect, get rid of Beppo, bring out Zoro, and we'll attack his law again for 5. And he takes it. So he lost a lot of cards there. He plays a buggy, gets a guard point. And goes six at Zoro. We'll block. We'll let her go. And then what's he gonna do with his leader? If he has a Zoro, that'd be pretty crazy, but we'll see what happens. Because he's used three Don now, it'd be minus three. Maybe he can bring out a Zoro and attack us for face, but he's going for our Zoro, so we'll let it go. Okay. So I know he has a guard point in hand. So we'll go five. He guard points. We'll go five again. No, we'll go six. Because if he has a two, K. Okay. No. Go five with the other law. He takes it. So I know he has the guard point. So we'll go eight. Oh, he gets out of it, and we'll use leader effect and just bring out the Zoro. Why not? And swing five with Zoro. GG's. That was another good game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you for the next one. Peace.